Hey guys, happy new year. Happy new year. I hope everyone had a healthy holiday with family and friends. And this is a new year. It's a new year of new goals. And I believe that 2024 will be great for crypto. Today's video, I want to talk about staking say. Now, this is one of the projects I've been talking about on this channel for a little bit now. And I believe that the first two quarters of 2024, this project was will bring massive, massive gains. Um, and I got a couple of questions in the comment section about how to stake say. Um, so I just wanted to make a quick tutorial video on how to do that. If that's something that interests you, stay tuned. Let me know what you think. And guys, if you like that video, please hit that like button. It's definitely going to help the channel grow and share the video for someone that you know that's considering about uh, purchasing say and also staking it as well. So let's get into it. So looking at coin market cap, we see that say currently sits at 56. Current price is 64 cents. It's crazy that when I started talking about this uh, project here, after the airdrop, it's about 35 cents. Look at it now, it's doubled. Um, but if we look at the 24 hour, um, so up 9.8%. And if we look at the seven day, so for the past week, says up 67%. And guys, I don't think that's the end of it. I think it's just the beginning. Um, you know, at this point, what I'm doing is that I'm continuing to stack. I'm going to stake. That's the purpose of making this video here. And we'll see where this thing takes us. Um, you know, this video, nothing in here is financial advice. This is just me sharing what I do and just for entertainment purposes only. But we look at that market cap, so 1.4 billion. It's creeping up. You know, when I was talking about this thing before, it was under a billion. Even earlier this week or late last week, rather, um, it's at a billion. So it's increasing almost 500 million. So this thing's up. It's on fire. It's going to continue to catch fire. Let's just watch and see what happens. We look at the 24 hour volume of say is about 638 million. I like it. So different wallets that can uh, you can, you know, buy your say off the central exchanges right now. I know that it's on Coinbase for us in the US. Um, Coinbase is pretty safe and secure, very easy to use. So this video and this tutorial is going to encompass me using Coinbase and a say wallet in order to stake. So. On the Say website, you see the different wallets that are used that can be integrated with the Say um, blockchain. Uh, Compass is the one that we're going to use today. Um, I looked at Fin Wallet. Fin Wallet is a native wallet for um, Say, but I saw on some of the comments that you know when you log off and when you use it again, it automatically you know logs you off and you have to keep entering your recovery phrase. So I wanted to do a wallet that was pretty simple and easy to use. And out of all, all the reviews that I saw, Compass was the one that stood out. So that's the one we're going to use for this video. But in any way, um, Compass is one. Fin Wallet, Kepler is a popular one as well. And you can see the other wallets listed there. So let's take a look here. So next, Compass is the one that we selected. And if we look at you know Twitter, Twitter X, we see that it has about 18,000 followers. In a comparison, um, the other wallet, the, the Fin wallet, I believe it was, had about 10,000. So I looked through here, I looked at the comments, and it seems like this is a pretty safe wallet to use, very easy to use again. So that's the one we're going to go with. But any wallet, any project that you ever want to look at, you want to take a look at the comments that people are listing about the project or the wallet. Look at the social media following to make sure that it's a legit project. Um, so that's Compass for you. So... For this on Compass, you have to use a web browser, uh, Android or Google web browser. So for this one, we're going desktop and I use the uh, Google. And if you're on an Apple product, you can just download the Google Chrome um, and you can also use this as well. But that's what we did. So we went on Google. If you go on the Google web store or Chrome web store, you'll see the Compass wallet for say you want to select that and then you click on the ad for Chrome, right? And uh, that's what that site looks like, just to make sure you have the right project, right app. And then next, we want to go on to, once you click on that, you're going to see Add Chrome Extension. Basically, like a tab that easier, whenever you log on to Chrome, you'll be able to access it quicker. And you want to click on the Add Extension button. Next. So next, after you add the extension and you download the wallet, this is the screen that you'll get. And you want to go to Create New Wallet. Right, because if you're watching this video, hopefully you don't have a compass wallet, but this is what we want to do. We want to click on create new wallet. And then the next step after that, 
After you create your new wallet, you select that, then you come to the screen where you're given a recovery phrase. It's about 12 words and a sequence, and you wanna make sure that you save this, you write this somewhere, save it for future use, um, and make sure no one can access it, except for you or whoever you trust to access it. But the recovery phrase is very, very important. If you lose your recovery phrase, any say that you have on here, you will not be able to access it in the future. So again, make sure you save it somewhere safe and secure, write it down and you don't lose it. But you're given 12 words there. And then after you have these 12 words, make sure they're numbered one, two, three, four, that you have them and you write it down in the correct order. And then after that, it's gonna, you see this button here, it says I have, have it saved somewhere safe. You click on that. And then after you click on that, it's gonna ask you to confirm your recovery phrase. And the way they do this is, you know, they're gonna give you the 12 words, but about, about three of them will be missing. Um, and then you just have to make sure you put those three words in the proper space, and then you'll be able to clear this. And then the system knows that you have your recovery phrase saved accurately, and you can move on to the next step. Now, next step is choosing a password. So again, you have your recovery phrase, you have that saved, you secured it. Now you have to choose a password as well. The you know more complicated, the more the better, right? You don't want a password of one, two, three, or something simple like dad, whatever. You want it to be very complicated, something that you would remember. You know, the way I do it is I write mine down and I also write my password down and I save it under, you know, um, you know, the wallet name. And that's what you want to do here. So after you do that, you enter your initial password, then you have to re-enter it to make sure it's matched. Then you move on to the next step. And the next step is, is going to say that your wallet is completed. The setup is completed. You have a Compass wallet now, and you're ready to send and receive, say, on your wallet. Now, an important tip here at the bottom, um, once you get to this, you'll see that there are different commands. There's commands for uh, Chrome and Google and command for iOS. It's basically for uh, Apple, this is what I'm using now, you hit Shift, Command, and L, and once you hit Shift, Command, and L, you'll come up to a screen that looks just like this. And then there you'll see the screen that we were previously on, and then you'll see the wallet. Your wallet's already set up. And you can rename your wallet, whatever you wanna call it, but it's already set up. Now you can begin receiving and sending, say. And it shows currently how much you have in the wallet. Since we just set this up, there's nothing in it. And then, there is gonna be your say wallet address. You can copy and paste that. And then the next step is I want to show you guys this. And I want to show you guys this real quick. If you click on the manage tokens, once your wallet is set up um, at the bottom, you'll see something that says manage tokens. If you click on that, you'll see that they have support for PKS as well as Cyan. And Cyan is interesting because that's the meme coin I talked about last week in a video um, that has potential. So if anyone's interested in Cyan and you wanna get it off the central exchanges, just wanted to throw that out there that it is on the Compass wallet. So after you click um, receive, you're gonna get this. You're gonna get something that shows your QR code or at the bottom there, you'll see your say address with uh, looks like two papers. That's basically your copy and paste. Um, you wanna copy that. It's a clipboard, you click that at the bottom there. Uh, once you click that, then your say address is saved. Once you do that, you go on to the next step. The next step is you open a new tab in the web browser and you log into your Coinbase account. Then you click on your assets tab and then you'll see say, that's the one you were talking about today. And then you click on transfer. And after you click on transfer, you click on send crypto. And once you click on send crypto, it's gonna look like this. And then you'll see the current price of say, and then you click on send crypto there. And after you do that, it's gonna ask you for your address that you wanna send it to. And at that point, we're gonna paste the address that we just clipboard. You're gonna clipboard it and paste it into the section there. And after you do that, um, Coinbase is gonna ask you for a memo, basically so you can remember the transaction. So if you wanna send a test amount, um, you could type test, you know, test say, you can do like here what I did mine, initial compass or compass staking. Um, just to show that that's why that's what the transaction is representing. And after you do that, you hit continue. Now, after you send it, you have confirmation that you received it in your Compass wallet. So you go back into the Compass wallet, get out of uh, Coinbase. And this is pretty fast. There's another thing why I like about say sometimes when you send e tokens, ERC 20 tokens, it takes a while before it transfers from the, um, the central exchange or DEX or wherever you're sending it to the wallet. It takes a little bit. 
say I would say probably within you know 40 50 seconds I already had it in the wallet after sending it from coinbase um, but there you'll see that the amount that I sent which was a small amount just as a test that's in your portfolio and then you see what that uh, is broken down into say domination um, so that's that amount there and then at the bottom you see the NFT tab the staking tab and activity tab and then you want to click on stake tab because now we have our say in there that we're ready to move forward with staking so then after you select stake you'll come up to this screen here and then you want to hit that blue stakes um, tab with the plus symbol and then after you hit that it's going to ask you to choose a validator and you can scroll down and see which validators you want to choose um, when I went on this on the compass it didn't show the APY but I know that the going API is about 4.5 to 5% AP, you know, for staking your say. Um, so then you choose the one that you want. And after you select the one that you want, you're going to come on uh, to this screen. And for this one, um, I checked, I checked uh, the validator say, O, just for this, uh, for this video here. And it said the amount that I wanted to stake, I want to stake all of it. So I click delegate all. And then after you do that, you'll hit review. The next page is going to be the review transaction page and there it basically say that you know the amount that you're staking the validator used and it also says that there is a 21 day locking period of staked say so it's important to note that you know if you're staking say for the long run then you're good just keep in mind that you have 21 days before you can get the stake say out of um, your wallet so that's what we got there Another way to stake Say is by just basically going on the Say app and connecting your wallet that way and staking straight from the app to your wallet. Unfortunately for me, I, I'm in the US, um, that's not available. And I got this uh, message here when I tried to do that. So those of you viewing in different parts of the world, you may have access to do it that way. I'm gonna leave you guys with this. This is per Rich Dad, Poor Dad, uh, Robert Kawasaki. He's the author there. He said, make your money work for you. That's what the rich folks do. The top 1%, they make their money work for them. So what that means is they don't put their money in a savings account and let it earn 0, 0 0.1. They normally invest it in mutual funds or, or something like that where they're gaining interest, a lot of money on the money that they already have. And for us in crypto, we have staking. Now, Say is a promising project, and I can't think of, you know, there's a, a short list of projects that I want to stake that you know you just want to earn you're not doing anything with it anyway you're just going to continue the dca while you're dca increasing your back it doesn't hurt to stake it um and while you're staking it you're just gaining more and more say you're helping secure the blockchain the network and it's all positive things so guys 2024 is going to be a big year i hope you like this video and until next time bye